Ephemeral Innovations A Tale of Mutable Realities by Elton Gar I have a curse, or perhaps it's a superpower. It depends on how you look at it. What no one else seems to know is that the world changes constantly. Things disappear and others appear. Ideas, places, people are all transient, and I'm the only one who sees any of it. Not that other people notice nothing. The memories even have a name. It's called the Mandela Effect because so many people remember Mandela dying in prison, though of course he didn't. I wasn't old enough to know what was happening in the 80s, but I'm fairly confident that he actually died, and then things changed. Right now, you're probably thinking I'm insane, or perhaps you're generous and assume that I am one of those people who would rather believe that there is something wrong with the universe than believe my memory is faulty. I also assumed there was something wrong with me. So I tried to prove I wasn't insane. The problem is that if the world changes, everything changes. I kept a detailed diary of the news for years, but when I went back to prove that something had changed, the words in the diary were wrong. So I tried something else, and I studied engineering. The plan was simple enough. One of the more common things to change is technology. I'm not entirely certain why. My best guess is that a change in technology is far more widespread than a single person disappearing, so I'm more likely to notice. But if I knew how something worked and it changed, I hoped that the way I learned would still work. And that would be proof that the changes were really happening, and I was sane. Or at least I'd make some money. After all, if something was a good idea once, it should be again. Learning to engineer wasn't as easy as I had hoped. If you understand how things work, a small change is just that, but when you're trying to learn, a small change can put you considerably behind, and when things change every few months, it slows you down a lot. It was one of those changes that taught me just how careful I have to be. The change was small enough I didn't notice right away. It was a simpler way to set circuits. It was nothing revolutionary, but my teacher was impressed enough that he showed several other people the technique, and within a week, I was getting calls from colleges halfway across the country. At this point, it is worth explaining that the changes are as if chunks of the world were cut out, not that a single event was changed. An obvious idea that should have been found a hundred times is as likely to change as something difficult and obscure. It's as if the entire world is going out of its way not to understand something it should know. That is why I had a short bout of fame. My circuit setup was obvious and better, which meant I looked brilliant, and it got me a fair amount of attention in the tiny circle of people that understands that sort of thing. The fame itself was actually sort of fun. Who wouldn't like brilliant people telling you how smart you are? I was even asked to fly out to talk about my new idea at a university. You may have figured out why that is a problem already, but I'll explain it anyway. I don't know what's causing the changes. It could be natural, in which case the best thing I could do for myself and possibly everyone else would be to reintroduce any idea I could. After all, the blender is useful, and when it disappeared it made things worse. But the changes being a natural phenomenon seems the least likely possibility. Far more likely is that it is intentional. Someone or something is causing the changes. I do not know what. It could be someone time traveling, God, aliens or something I can't imagine. But if someone is changing reality, they will not want it changed back. And since from what I can tell, they have the ability to make people disappear from existence, I didn't want to draw their attention. But the lure of money and power is strong. And after studying for five years, I wanted to earn as much as possible. Still, I'm not stupid and I tried to pick things no one would notice. All I wanted was enough money to buy a house on the beach and time to read my books. Books are one of the few advantages to my ability. For everyone else, once you've read a good book, it's over. But when I reread a book, it is often different. The book's differences are typically subtle but even small changes keep things interesting. My first invention was post-it notes. I chose that because of how easy it was. 
All you needed was a glue that wasn't strong enough to permanently attach to anything. It took me about a week to find the right mixture, and two weeks later, I sold the idea to the same company that originally made them. I felt a little bad for that, but I reminded myself that I didn't take it away, and they made a lot more money off the idea than they gave me. There were a couple of other similar inventions. Ideas that were easy and with an obvious buyer. Each time I sold it under a different name and a few months later, I moved. There was still a trail of course. If someone wanted to find me, they could, especially if that person were a god. But it made it less likely someone would figure out that a single person was creating the wide variety of different technologies. The reason that I'm writing this down, even though I know it won't work, is that they have found me. I don't know exactly when I was discovered or how they did it, but I know they did. I can feel them. It's like something inside of me changed. Who knows, perhaps I'll be happier as the person they change me into. Hey Frank, I found your bug. Someone forgot to add an update function to one of the NPCs. The thing was trying to load items that aren't in the game anymore, and it spread a couple of them across the game. I added the update function and it reset back to default, so the next time we restart it should work as intended. Author's Note The Mandela Effect has intrigued me since I first heard of it. To me, it feels similar in many ways to deja vu, something that I get fairly often. There are many explanations for both. In my real life, I tend towards the more mundane. The Mandela Effect is people who would rather believe that the world is wrong than that they remembered something wrong. Just like my deja vu is a sign that I need to get out of my rut because I've done this often enough, that it feels like it's seeing the future when I do it again. But of course the less mundane answers are always more fun. Perhaps I really can see glimpses of the future, and with training, I'd be a powerful psychic, and perhaps the world really is changing, and some people remember things differently, because they happen differently. Or perhaps we're all in a simulation, and my deja vu is because I really am reliving the moments as they restart the program, and the changes in memory are because someone is changing the program. If you enjoyed this, I share a free short story with my newsletter every week. You can get it by signing up for my free newsletter at ansci-fi.com, as well as a second patron-exclusive story at patreon.com slash elton. Thank you. Elton Gar.